Hey guys, what's going on? It is Roth and Eric here at Comic-Con. What? It's gonna be a crazy week. There are some pilots premiering here this week, yeah. one of which is Containment coming to the CW. I haven't seen it yet, you have. What'd you think? I liked it. It's 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 very sort of different for CW. I shouldn't say different completely because they are starting to go this way, but right. it's, even if you look at the trailer, it's pretty adult for the CW. Again, they've gotten away from the high school thing, but their shows still have young casts. But this one, I mean, there's only one high school age character and she's pregnant. Uh, it's much more adult characters uh, dealing with this sort of very grim situation. So I think even a show like The 100, which I absolutely love, but still started out feeling more CW and then kind of went where it's going to go. This one on the surface is like, no, we're going for a different feel, which I appreciate. Do you feel like they are trying to attract more of an adult audience as well? I think so. I think that they, you know, certainly if you, you know, you know that they still see a lot of bread and butter in the uh, young girl audience you with as far as ad sales yeah. are concerned but I think that they are seeing like hey if we can branch into different areas get different of these sort of cult all their shows either are genre or at least leaning into this sort of cult place of like a very loyal audience even if it's not a huge audience so I think they see it can it can skew older and maybe still get a loyal loyal brand out of it one of the interesting things about the show is it's dealing with this a post-apocalyptic world, which we've seen a lot of, Walking Dead, yeah. obviously, most famously, but it doesn't really have like the sci-fi bent to it. Is that something that you think will appeal to? Do we want sort of that bend right now as an audience? It, it's interesting because uh, you know, so it, it, it begins, has the apocalypse, I should say, begins, like this virus is this outbreak, and then the, the plot, by the way, is that they they wall off uh, Atlanta because they're trying to stop this virus from spreading. It's funny, it's Atlanta. So you think of Walking Dead immediately, yeah. right? Uh, but as far as we can tell in the pilot, it's it's just a virus, a horrible lethal violence. Uh, and people even make sort of references to zombies, but it's not a zombie story. It's yeah. no, there's no creature. Um, I think it is interesting because we have had so many stories of this type to kind of go back to the, they're all, you know, everyone says Walking Dead, okay, it's ultimately about the people. So what if you did take out that creature element. Some people would say, oh, I want that zombie element. But if you can make the characters interesting enough, I think people will still stick around. So you would say tune in? i say give it a shot. Yeah, you know, uh, it's uh, there's a lot in the pilot they're trying to get through. So it has to do the, here's what everyone's life is like, and then everything's going to go to hell. Um, but I do think it's, it's pretty compelling. It does have that literal wall, you know, and people who love each other on other sides of it. And of course, there's crisis characters who are, you know, there's this pregnant girl. What's going to happen to her in this situation? Maybe I, it's a poison baby. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Spewing <laughs> poison. I was interested, so I want to see more of it. All right. Awesome. We're going to have plenty more here from Comic-Con about TV, movies, everything else this week. Yep.